Hallelujah! <laughs> Thank you, Lord God, for this wonderful early evening as always. <laughs> Time to read God's love letter this beautiful afternoon. Oh, we praise you, Lord God, and we glorify your Father. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father God. <laughs> I welcome your presence right now, Father, as we continue to read your love letter for us today, Father God, Lord. Oh, yes. As the word of God is being preached today, Lord, I pray for the people to come to know you and receive you as their personal Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are so blessed that we have you in our lives. We praise you, Lord. We glorify your Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The Word of God says, but God demonstrated His own love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you. Yes, you died on the cross for us, Father. <laughs> oh, yes. And you saved us, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. For the cross, the mighty cross, Lord. Thank you for saving our lives, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, you are our shepherd. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes, you are with us right now, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes. You are healing our sickness and our hurts. <laughs> God, you are a great healer and a great physician. You are here, Lord. You are here with us right now, Father. Thank you. Hallelujah. Father, I pray for people to come to know you, Lord, and receive you as the personal Lord and Savior right now, Father, as the Word of God is being preached, Lord, today. God have mercy. Yes, Lord. You please keep us safe <laughs> through the night. Yes. You are our shelter. I want to go without you, Lord. You are our shepherd. <laughs> yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. We welcome you right now. Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful, wonderful day. <laughs> yes, you are here. We welcome you, precious Father. I will sing with all my heart. <laughs> yes, Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, I will sing with all my heart. You are everything. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Come, come. Father God, gracious Holy Spirit, welcome in our midst right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Father, as we continue to read your love letter for us today in Revelation chapter 11, help us, Lord, to understand. Give us, Father, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, Father, as we continue to read your love letter for us this beautiful early evening. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The two witnesses. Hallelujah. Revelation.
chapter 11. The two witnesses. Thank you, Lord. Then I was given a reed like a measuring rod. And the angel stood, saying, Rise, and measure the temple of God, the altar, and those who worship there. But leave out the court which is outside the temple, and do not measure it, for it has been given to the Gentiles. And they will tread the holy city underfoot for forty-two months. And I will give power my two witnesses, and they will prophesy one thousand two hundred and sixty days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands standing before the God of the earth. And if anyone wants to harm them, fire proceeds from their mouth and devours their enemies. And if anyone wants to harm them, he must be killed in this manner. These have power to shut heaven so that no rain falls on the days of the prophecy and they have power over waters to turn them to blood and they strike the earth with all plagues as often as they desire two witnesses killed when they finished their testimony the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit will make war against them, overcome them, and kill them. And the dead bodies will die, will lie in the street on the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Then those from the People's tribes, tanks, and nations will see their dead bodies three and a half days and not allow their dead bodies to be put into graves. And those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them, make merry, and send gifts to one another, because these two prophets tormented those who dwell on the earth. The Witnesses Resurrected now, after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them, and they stood on their feet, and great fear fell on those who saw them. And they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they ascended to heaven in a cloud, and the enemies saw them. And the same hour, there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. In the earthquake, 7,000 people were killed, and the rest were afraid, and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe is passed behind. The second woe is passed. Behold, the third woe is coming quickly. Seventh trumpet, the kingdom proclaimed. Then the seventh angel sounded. And there were loud voices in heaven saying to the kingdoms of this world, Have come the kingdoms of the Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders who sat before God on their thrones fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks, O Lord God Almighty. We give you thanks, O Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was and who is to come, because you have taken your great power and reigned. The nations were angry, and your wrath has come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that you should reward your servants, the prophets and the saints, and those who fear you, who fear your name, small and great, and should destroy those who destroy the earth. Then the temple of God was opened in heaven, and the ark of his covenant was seen in his temple, and there were lightnings, noises, thunderings, and earthquake, and great hell. Hallelujah, Lord Father God. You are awesome and sovereign, Lord God Almighty. Father God, thank you, Lord, for your word. And uh, 
Father, help us more to understand, reveal to us what this all meaning, because truly, Lord, we can't do this on our own, except for the Holy Spirit to help us and to reveal this to us. Thanks be to God that you are with us, Lord Jesus, and you never leave us nor forsake us. And I pray for those who do not have a personal relationship with you, Lord, to receive you as their Savior and Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, mga mahal, for reading God's love letter with me today. I believe that you are blessed as I am. And if any one of you has not received the Lord Jesus Christ, come and receive him right now. The Lord is whew, opening the door, open the door of your heart because the Lord is calling you to come into him. Today is the day of salvation. Don't wait until tomorrow. Receive him right now. Come, let's receive him from our hearts. Whew, Lord Jesus, thank you, Father. We need you. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. We open the door of our lives and receive you as our Savior and Lord. We repent of our sins. Thank you for the forgiveness of our sins and giving us eternal life. Make us the kind of person you want us to be. Amen. My fellow God's beloved, if you pray this prayer from your heart, then Christ came into your life. Your sins were forgiven. You became a child of God. You received eternal life. And you began the great adventure for which God created you. And continue on reading God's word, his love letter to us. Amen. Amen. Have a nice day this early evening. God bless and take care. Let's read again tomorrow. Bye. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you. We are so blessed. And thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Father, for the cross. That mighty cross. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We are so blessed, your children. We are so blessed, Lord. We have you in our lives. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your love and faithfulness. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, God bless and take care. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen, Father. Whew. Amen, Lord. Amen, God. <laughs>